Hello super healthy people and we still keep discussing a different kind of diet really roughly uh, so today we will talk about a raw foodie so who is a raw foodie so basically it's people who uh, never stop to be more and more healthy and they eat only the raw food so they don't cook anything for keep all of the ferments and vitamins because you know uh, after 50 degrees Celsius sugar it get to possess sugar so basically glucose and fructose became um, just to possess sugar and same oil it get to the rotten prote uh, rotten product because uh, good fat and when it's raw fat yeah not when we cooked it or make it deep fried or whatever basically it's already waste product and the people who eat only the uh, raw food and if you are like sportsman or athlete or raw food is bodybuilder, the still question what many people ask how to get enough uh, protein from it and so on. Actually, not all of the raw food is uh, vegetarian or vegan or whatever. I saw uh, raw food is who eat uh, raw meat or raw fish. If it's some meat for you on your own range and you know where the chicken bean it's no uh, hormones or um, any other chemicals in there like uh, let's say they put a lot of um, antibiotics inside and so on so maybe but a danger of eating raw meat uh, it's so many bad bugs and worms and eggs inside what you can put in your body and it make everything so bad same fish I know many people eat raw fish and some people they fine until old age and some people not. You can read some research, especially medical research when they found in Japan they eat raw uh, fish like in sushi and so on. When they found uh, like worms in the brain which you cannot take off and what uh, give you like so much pain and discomfort and uh, another article i read uh, was a bear like very aggressive bear it attack everyone and same like a wild pig was like huge and they killed it is two different story but the same meaning so i just try to uh, put it together so when they uh, check the bear a bear have a lot of different worms uh, inside the body would make him struggle a lot and make him like so aggressive and same with the wild pig so this worm being in the brain in the muscle everywhere and just stay in there and make a lot of pain to make him absolutely insane and you can eat a raw meat and put it in your body too so what quite quite dangerous i would say yeah about the japanese and korean who like to eat raw food like a different kind of uh, mussels and um, even the jellyfish they put in the marinade octopus so much crazy food and still i saw a lot of japanese and korean and chinese who never eat raw fish or any kind of raw food because you'll never know what is there so basically it's a personal choice about the vegetarians, vegetarians who eat everything raw, I saw as well, even try it on myself, I drink raw eggs and eat cottage cheese raw, not cooked it, what hell, um, milk bacteria inside. Some people cannot do it, they have a problem with digestion straight away, same many people uh, not suggest to drink eggs because still you can get a salmonella for example or any other bacteria so and you never know if you uh, have your own chicken your own range farming you know so it's fresh is good but you buy it from market and always you know like a russian lurette you have a kind of lottery with your health so about uh, uh, food and nutrition a little bit discussed in the previous videos and yeah how to get enough protein they want to ask oh your raw food is where you take your protein okay so have raw foodist who are vegan don't eat any uh, eggs or milk products or whatever only fruits vegetables grains how possible to eat grain raw without cooking it many different ways uh, you can eat phloem I tried it on myself uh, well, most, most of the problem doesn't taste good, but you feel okay. You not feel hungry, 
and you not get fat. So you make a flour from oat or wheat or beans, just a flour. You mix it with water and you can eat it, it's fine. But you take it a little bit and after you can increase the amount until your stomach will be okay with that. For make it taste a bit better, you can add fruits, berries, seeds, nuts, uh, seaweed. I try like literally everything put inside and I wouldn't say it still tastes good, but when add some honey and seeds, it's all right. And fruits, it's quite okay. And uh, if you put a little bit salt and seaweed and uh, nuts, it's okay too. Raw nuts. Because uh, most of the grains and nuts have a chemicals what difficult for take off. So basically you need to put everything in the water for 24 hours and small percentage of it will go to the water because it's supposed to be raw. It, it's really a long story how to eat super healthy because um, if it's even not genetic modified food like wheat, uh, corn, even oats, they have a certain uh, poison inside and all of the nuts have a poison inside and uh, I check a lot of information, I didn't got one how to get rid of it because uh, some people said when you make it raw, um, I mean make it, make it grow. So I grow a mush beans and wheat and flax seeds, what else? I think I try to grow everything, even the sesame seeds. So you put it in the water, but not totally in the water, just uh, on a wet surface and it start to grow. So when it grow, you just eat it raw. Uh, probably um, some people say, oh, it's really violent. It's just, uh, you kill the life, it start to grow and whatever. Mm, especially like some insane people in, uh, India who like try to worship, not to worship, they just uh, live in a high level of mercy to everything, try to not kill any living creature. But inside our body is so much war, bacteria, so viruses, whatever, phones they killing each other. Lake at sea just destroy everything, it's a total war. So what's uh, right or wrong, I don't know. It's always who you want to be. You want to come to some divine creature or whatever, you can make your choice. I don't blame anyone who eat meat or whatever, it's personal choice. I try, I feel better without it, okay. But if someone feel not, it depends. I eat raw food uh, for three months. Uh, it's okay, you feel light, can work with your own way, with a heavy way, works difficult. For me you lose a bit of power and you hungry most of you hungry maybe on a third month it more or less became okay really really long uh, process you need to come through until you feel comfortable with it uh, then you losing weight even you eat a lot of fruits a lot of vegetables and nuts still you losing weight it seems like a lot of calories but not uh, when you cook the beans or grains, mm, amount of, I think the percentage of digestion is increased and it's like semi-fast and slow carbs, you can eat more, produce more insulin, but when it's totally raw, I think uh, amount of food you digest, it's less than usual and you eat a lot, you get less and you lose weight. So if you want to get super skinny and eat a lot, probably good way. Sauces, you can make a lot of sauces for your salads, what make it taste amazing, raw uh, oils. So yeah, forget uh, good fat, no problem. Just use the oils and you'll get a certain amount of fat you need. No problem with that. Uh, you will have a lot of vitamins and ferments. Only the problem about uh, mm, amino acids and protein, it will be even less than for the vegans, I guess. But if you uh, take nuts and seeds and try to grow the grains and beans, yeah. But um, if you're really interested in that, it's a lot of different uh, kind of uh, culinary, what you can cook different things, you like make pickle vegetables, but still have a uh, certain ingredient there, like vitamins, you can uh, froze the berries and fruits, 
and cook the different variety or you can make a floor and you just dry it under the sun like brown rice floor or oat floor or whatever or you can make kind of porridge with it and eat it because the grains in a natural way mm, I think it's impossible to eat when it's grow you need to wait until it's grow quite big soybeans when it grow tastes quite good as well uh, so culinary will be totally different and uh, I saw a huge amount of recipe what make the food looks good and tastes good but it's complicated to do the way more complicated than usual so all of the fruits and vegetables you can dry it still vitamins will be there still can eat it and make a compote and other stuff fresh juice juices uh, shakes whatever but the protein mm, I make a calculation it not get even one percent even one gram of protein on one kilo away so still you can do the uh, some supplements like pea protein or soy protein peanut protein whatever coconut protein like any kind of protein you like if you don't want to use anything unnatural uh, yeah you can eat coconut as well a lot of protein there so amount of uh, grown food should be increased so basically to find the right balance it's not easy at all so basically for vegetarian or just for vegan it seems like super simple but for the raw foodies it became uh, more complicated i would say but it's still possible if you want to try yeah what i would say uh, you can feel straight away it uh, your thoughts is really clear meditate much more easily only you feel hungry all the time it's like yeah uh, energy feel enough energy really easy to think uh, your endurance is grow so you run uh, what you run before and you feel less tired you more alert uh, kind your flexibility personality get more light something like that Mm, you still can try, I don't know, I think for the women who want to lose the way, looks good, looks younger, people I saw, not like crazy people who, okay, I'm a vegan, hello, I'm vegan, yeah, and have a blue eyes and like super white skin and seems like you're gonna die in any minute. And uh, some people who like uh, uh, make certain calculation in the food check the food check how they feel like they looks amazing i saw women who look like 40 or 50 years old and them they look maximum like 30 and really good skin good teeth nice hair you know what majority of people have problems nails whatever and everything looks just perfect and people look super fresh and probably it has some kind of effect if it's not suitable for you, you can do the certain diet like a detox, just a cleaning. Uh, in my case, uh, I think it works very well and you can use maybe some herbs or tea for cleaning your body as well. So when I've been like on a vegetarian food, a lot, a lot of uh, proteins and after I skip to the vegan, get a bit lighter and raw food and come back again. So change one and other. So I'm not boring from the same type of food and feels fine. And maybe it will be reasonable for be a raw food is like months a year, two, three months a year, depend how it feel like for you, just for cleaning. Yeah, why not? Uh, but if you wanna really build the muscles up, I found it difficult because lose the way. You eat quite a lot and you lose the way. Maybe uh, some people said the transformation time it get much longer than when you vegan or vegetarian. Let's say vegetarian uh, transformation time from months to three months. I would say the three months until all of the changes in the body come true and your uh, body already start to be okay with a certain food like vegetarian food, no more meat same the vegan you became vegan no more eggs or milk i think at least three months but for the raw food uh, my opinion three months it's not enough it just after one month it just everything just starts so and from experience what other people said i think it's about the six months so you might be lose a lot of weight and after you get it back slowly and the transformation will finish yeah half a year at least so quite a long time if you want to be on 
whatever. Okay, hopefully my talks was quite interesting for you and all of the information and experience what I share. So yeah, just be super healthy and we'll see you next video.